Today's episode of Chicago Bears Now is presented by True Classic Tees. Get 25% off of True Classic Tees at trueclassictees.com slash chat. Promo code chat to get 25% off. Comfortable t-shirts and polos. Rocking one today that you can wear really anywhere. You're going out, you're hanging in, whatever. Comfortable gear. It's going to make males look good, regardless as if you have a six-pack or a little bit of a beer gut like me. Trueclassictees.com slash chat. Promo code chat. All right, I'm Harrison Graham. Thanks for uh, joining us here on a Tuesday. Let's get you caught up on the latest Bears news and rumors. Is the passing attack a concern? Well, Matt Eberflus even admitted that it is a concern. Said we want to get better there. Now, it's only two games. Here's more from Eberflus. He says, we want to improve. There's no question. We want to improve in a lot of parts of our football team, other aspects of our football team. But that's one of them, talking about the passing game. The touches, who we are looking at, are getting touches early to. Uh, getting guys involved, all those things are getting looked at as we're going through the course of our whole football team. Well, how about this? And I'm looking at you, Luke Getze. Step one, get Cole Komet and Darnell Mooney some targets. Get them involved. Um, if they're not getting open on their own, if teams are taking them away, scheme them some, some looks early. Um, we're going to talk about this in our preview video, but Luke Getze, priority number one, slash two is get fields in a rhythm and get these two guys to football because this 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 is unacceptable two targets no catches for commit five targets two catches for darnell mooney um we barely even have new photos for this year for these two because they haven't done anything you got to get these guys the ball luke i'm looking at you getsy let's go get darnell mooney cole commit touches get fields in a rhythm let's go you can scheme some of this stuff. Yeah, Fields is going to have to take the next steps. He's going to have to be able to make plays when you need him to. But get him into a rhythm early. Get, the, get your playmakers the football. The fact that Komet has no catches, he dropped one, but has no catches through two games is a joke. Darnell Mooney, you want to be a number one receiver? Let's go. Get him the ball. He's got to make plays. Got to make it happen. There's a reason we're concerned right now because it hasn't been pretty so far through two games. How concerned are you? with the passing game. 100 being you're terrified. You don't think it's ever going to work with Getsy and Fields. One being not terrified at all. I mean, this is Aaron Rodgers already. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, 95, I'm terrified. But I'm at like a 65. Like, the concern level is there. Um, I'm not panicking. It's very early. This is two games into a brand new offense. One game was a monsoon, and the play in the second half was pretty good. But Lambeau was not good. That was a bad performance all the way around. It wasn't Cleveland bad from last year, but it was bad. It was pretty bad. Scale it from 1 to 100. How concerned are you with the passing game? Let's we'll stick with the offense here. Non-committal on right guard at right guard. I don't know how I feel about this. Matt Eberflus says we're going to have to wait and see on who the starting right guard will be, whether it's Tevin Jenkins or Lucas Patrick. More from Flus here. He says it depends on what, where we have with Lucas, what we have with Lucas. If we have Lucas on the or outside, depending on what he can do with his thumb, I think that'll determine what we're going to do, but we have to wait and see. So I think he's talking about, you know, if his thumb's not ready, then we'll probably keep the rotation going. I disagree with it. Tevin Jenkins has shown enough. He should be the full-time starting right guard. Now, let me be clear. Lucas Patrick's been solid as well, but you signed him to be your center, and here's the deal. Stop dropping everything and stunting progress for Lucas Patrick. He's not an all-pro. He's a solid player, okay? This isn't Trent Williams. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's a solid starting O-lineman. This isn't an all-pro that you're saying, yeah, well, we just have to play him uh, at right guard some until he can snap to move back over to center because he's just that good. I disagree. I think Jenkins is, if anything, has looked better, definitely in run blocking. Now, pass blocking is still a work in progress for Tevin, but um, I just uh, stop doing this. We're, I'm done with the rotation. Play him at center when he's healthy. He's clearly better than Mustafer. Mustafer did not play well on Sunday night. Uh, he's a good backup, not a starter. But Tevin Jenkins, he needs to be the starting right guard. More thoughts on the offensive line coming up. Bears Now is presented by True Classic Tees. And listen, their promise to you is that their T-shirts, their polo line, they fit sizes of all males. You know, a lot of T-shirt companies, especially me being big and tall, 6'2", uh, got some pounds packed on me. Hey, it's all good to admit uh, how you look. These shirts make you look better than 
probably do in all reality. Uh, they're going to show off the best parts of males of all sizes. You got an eight pack. Hey, that eight pack is going to be ripping through these tees. You got a bit of a beer gut like I do, especially during football season. You're going to be looking that good there as well. They got a polo line. Uh, you can buy in bulk. That is the best way to go. Nine, po nine polo pack for 13 bucks a polo. That is a steal. And you can get 25% off when you use promo code chat at True Classic Tees dot com slash chat stay comfortable look fresh all season long with true classic tees get yourself outfitted today true classic tees dot com slash chat promo code chat 25 percent off link in the promo code in the description of this video more on the offensive line when we talk about this tevin jenkins lucas patrick thing ideally patrick starts at center jenkins is your full-time guard if anything Larry Borum's a bigger question than Tevin Jenkins right now at right tackle. Borum was not good at right tackle the other night. Thought he played okay in the opener, was the weak link against the Packers. Now, all five-year linemen where this group is right now are not going to excel. But Braxton Jones has held up okay at left tackle. Cody Whitehair's been solid. Uh, even, you know, Mustafer for a backup caliber player has been okay. Uh, right guard Tevin Jenkins, I think, has been good. When Patrick played, he's been good. So when you put him at center, you're feeling good about that. Uh, Borm's the weak link right now, if you had to pick one. I think he has a chance still. He certainly can be a good swing tackle. But if you're worried about a spot on the line, it's not Tevin Jenkins right now. It's Larry Borum. So make Jenkins the full-time starting right guard. Do you agree with me? Make the call. Should he be the full-time starter? Type Y for yes, type N for no. How do you guys feel about Tevin Jenkins right now? Let me know down in the comments section. Should Tevin Jenkins be the full-time starting right guard? Appreciate you guys for tuning into the show. One more story to come. YouTube.com slash Bears now is the place to subscribe. And if you're watching live, we just got a $100 super chat. We'll get to that in a minute. Just another reason to subscribe. Our live shows every single Tuesday afternoon. Subscribe, join us, the latest news, rumors, injury updates. We got you covered here on Chicago Bears. Now, should the Bears not pay Roquan? Well, if it's based on the last two games, uh, I would say absolutely not. He has stunk. He was really bad against the Packers, guys. I'm talking worst game of his career bad, at least worst game since his rookie year. Now, as this graphic flashes on screen, let me just say, PFF has never liked Roquan for whatever reason. They have weird grading scales sometimes. So I'm not saying I agree with PFF completely here. But the fact that Roquan's overall grade with PFF is a 29.3, his run defense is a 42, his coverage is a 29.4, pass rush is pretty good, but uh, it doesn't weigh as heavily for him as an off-ball linebacker. That's bad. PFF has never liked Roquan, but these numbers are awful. Like last year, we were confused. How is Roquan in the 50s? Well, that's at least the 50s, though. At 29? <laughs> That's, that's like one of the worst linebackers in the league bad. Now, I don't think that, but he kind of played like it the other night. He was getting blown off the ball. You know, there's, there's a debate going on right now. You know, Adam Hogue was talking about this on Hogan Johns. Uh, is he out of position uh, playing that will linebacker? Should he play the mic and you move Mora around? I don't know, but considering the reports that he passed on a $95 million deal because he wanted more guaranteed money, you got to wonder if he's regretting that right now because a lot of pressure for him to produce if he wants that big deal from Chicago. It hasn't been pretty. I thought in the second half against San Francisco he played pretty solid, but he was bad in that first half, and he was horrible the other night. Six out of the eight quarters, he has not been a good player for this football team, and with how thin they are at linebacker with proven talent or the lack thereof, he's got to produce. They were getting gashed in the run game, getting blown up he was. Not good so far. I think if you had to make a decision right now, you would not pay him. Uh, based on what we've seen in this scheme. So hopefully that changes because I like Roquan. I, you know, I've defended him, but not a good start for Roquan Smith here in the 2022 season. What do you think the Bears will do with Roquan? Type T for trade, tag and trade him, or trade him during this season. Type P for pay him, or type L for leave, let him walk. I think right now, if I had to guess, you're looking at a tag and trade scenario where you tag him, you trade him. You're not going to get a first round pick probably if he continues to play like this, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. Let us know. T for trade, P for pay, L for let him leave. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because like I said, we will continue to have you guys covered here on Chicago Bears now with the latest Bears news and rumors. We're not going anywhere. Daily videos, win, lose, or draw. We are the channel for you. So go ahead and subscribe to Bears Now by Chat Sports.